Boeing is temporarily cutting production of its best-selling 737 airliner in the continuing fallout from crashes in Ethiopia and Indonesia. Boeing said production would drop from 52 of the planes a month to 42 from mid-April. The decision is a response to a halt in deliveries of the 737 MAX, the model involved in the two accidents. The plane is currently grounded as preliminary findings suggest its anti-stall system was at fault. An Ethiopian airline 737 MAX crashed only minutes after takeoff from Addis Ababa in March. The same type flown by the Indonesian airline Lion Air crashed into the sea only five months earlier, shortly after taking off from Jakarta. In both cases, preliminary findings show the pilots had rested with the anti-stall system, known as MCAS, which caused the planes to nosedive repeatedly. Joining us now to throw more light on the accident of vis a -vis air safety is aviation consultant Tile Jury. Uh, thank you for joining us on the news at this time. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Does it appear like um, this issue has been treated with kid gloves? You see that um, Boeing only acknowledged when preliminary investigation came out and right now we're talking about cotton production mid-April. What are your thoughts about this? Well, uh, ordinarily, Boeing shouldn't have actually jumped the uh, gun. They, it was the right thing they did, in my opinion, because obviously there was the preliminary report that should have been done. They waited for, and there's still the main report. This is uh, forthcoming. So it's the right thing they did. And obviously, be, uh, as you rightly said, reviewing the first Lion Air accident and the Ethiopian Air accident shows some uh, facts that collaborate the, uh, the issues at hand. And so they actually went ahead to actually now apologize. But the I bigger issue now is over and beyond the cancellations of the, uh, the purchase of the jets is the fact that it's going to take a whole lot of work to reassure the flying public, okay. to assure, th again, there's legal ramifications, as well as the fact that it will take that airline, oh, sorry, that aircraft as it were, and that, uh, that fleet might not be viable as a brand. We understand the keen competition that exists between Boeing and Airbus, okay. and there are some who would say that uh, perhaps um, in the manufacturer's efforts of bringing out a cost-effective and popularly accepted aircraft, uh, some mistakes could have been made. Do you think that the world will now pay more attention to ensuring higher safety measures, even as we improved in technology? Absolutely. I, like you, Aviation has evolved over time. We've seen accidents happen. We've seen, we learn from it. Mm. AIB and other accident investigation organizations, we learned from accidents not to put up uh, the cost, but to learn how, what's the lesson learned and evolve from it. Now what's going to, what we've learned from this is to actually, as we use automation to improve mm -hmm. aviation, is to actually have lots of uh, safety, uh, uh, magnet, uh, safety, uh, mm -hmm. Measures. measures in between, mm. whereby we, those are actually, uh, they, 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 they address the issues mm. and you don't have to let three, over 300 lives be lost before it's nipped in the bud. Let's talk about the flying public in Nigeria. Uh, there are many people who get to the airport and ask that, I hope there's not a 737 MAX. Do you think that um, Nigerians will be able to trust um, this, uh, um, this particular aircraft and fly them in the future? Absolutely. Uh, it's all, all about the reassuring, it's about the airline reassuring the flying public mm. and the civil aviation uh, educating the public at large on what measures have been put in place, the uh, safety measures as well as standard operating measures. The airlines themselves, they have actually gone over and beyond to actually imp, uh, implement what you call the IOSA International, which is uh, an IATA. Uh, safety program, mm. international safety assessment program, which actually boosts that safety uh, procedure. I guess your suggestion to Airpiece would be to keep the 10 aircraft they have already ordered. Well, they have actually gone ahead to actually order more Embraer <laughs> 195s now, so it's actually going to come in well before the Boeing 737 MAX. Aviation consultant Tayo Juru, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. It's always a pleasure. Uh, Tivison News at 10. And moving on now, the United States of America has 
revoked the entry visa for the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, ICC, Fatou Bensouda. The decision is thought to be the U.S. response to Ms. Bensouda's investigation into possible war crimes by American forces and their allies in Afghanistan. The U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, had warned the U.S. might refuse or even revoke visas to any ICC staff involved in such probes. Uh, Ms. Bensouda's office said the ICC prosecutor would continue her duties without fear or favor. A 2016 report from the ICC said there was a reasonable basis to believe the U.S. military had committed torture at secret detention sites in Afghanistan operated by the CIA and that the Afghan government as well as the Taliban had committed war crimes.